It's Italian! Am I double N then E double the I double up the L? That's not n no. Double up the N, that's not new. Not double the L. I mean, you do double the L, but not until the end, and then you end it with an I. Double the N, double it with I. <laughs> This song! There are too many letters in this song. Double up the wuh, end it with a wuh, and I'm almost bleeding on this finger. <laughs> it's Liza with a Z, not Lisa with an S, cause Lisa with an S goes S, not Z. Z instead of S, Lee instead of Li, simple as can be. See Liza, I'll do it again. It's Liza with a Z, not Lisa with an S, cause Lisa with an S goes S, not Z. Z instead of S, Lee instead of Li, simple as can be. See Liza, if I were an Ada, I'd be Ada, even backwards, I'd be Ada. But if I were a Ruth, then I'd be Ruth, because with Ruth, what can you do? Or Sally, or Margaret, or Ginger, or Jane. But when you're Eliza, you always have to say It's Liza with a Z, not Lisa with an S Cause Lisa with an S goes S, not Z Z instead of S, Lee instead of Li Simple as can be, see Liza And that is only half of it There are other ways they treat me cruelly How often I remember someone shouting There she goes, Lisa Manuli or Manoli, or Maniola, or Manili, or Manili. So is it a wonder I very often cry? It's M I double N, then E double the I, double up the N, that's n not new. E double the L, end it with an I, that's the way you say Manelli, Liza Manelli. It's Italian, blame it on Papa. What can I do? Every Sandra who's a Sandra, every Mary who's really Marie, every Joan who is a Joan has got to agree with me when I've announced I don't mind being pummeled or trampled or trounced, but it does drive you bats to be. It's Liza with a Z, not Lisa with an S, cause Lisa with an S goes not Z. Z instead of S, Lee instead of Li, simple as can be. See Liza, it's M I double N, then E double the I, double up the N, that's not new, then E double the L, end it with an I, that's the way you say Manelli, Liza Manelli. It's easy, it's easy, see it's Lizzy. No. Liza. So many things. <laughs> Hair in the mouth, glasses, a slidin'. Today we are celebrating the 73rd birthday of the one, the only, the incomparable Liza Minnelli. Liza Minnelli! This is one of the few birthday tributes I've done to someone who is still alive. And I didn't know that they were still alive. I had to look it up. I'm ashamed to say that I had to look it up because I adore Liza Minnelli. But there was something in the back of my head that said she was dead. And she's not. So for those of you that are unaware, Liza Minnelli is one of the greatest creatures to have graced the planet. She is the child of Judy Garland and I think it's Vincent Minnelli or Vincente. He's super Italian. He was a director of some of the big movie musicals like American in Paris, Gigi, both of which won Best Picture Awards at the Academy Awards. He got Best Director for, I think, Gigi. I think he got it for Gigi. He was only married to Judy Garland for like five or six years. And in that time, they created Liza. She went on to become something, I won't say bigger than her mom, because it's hard to be bigger than Judy Garland, but she was just on another level in a horizontal direction, we'll say. Maybe even catty, catty corner to Judy Garland. Um, and she went through all of these phases. She did so many things. I mean, most people know her from Cabaret, and that's 
That's where I knew her from, and some of the big shows with the variety acts and the talk shows. And recently, a friend of mine on Instagram posted a video of her, I think it was in the 80s, and I had never seen this phase of Liza. She was so svelte. I mean, there is never a time when Liza Minnelli is like anything but put together. She embodied the feeling of cashmere. Like if you looked at her, it was just like, ooh, I want to touch. And I will have to find a link to that video that he posted and his name, I'll put, I'll put him down below. I don't know his real name. <laughs> He's a friend, but I don't know his real name. His handle is Fabi something. And I think there's some numbers in there. But he always posts these really interesting uh, snippets from vintage archives of TV shows and performances. And uh, the one that I saw last week reminded me that I don't think I'd done very many Liza Minnelli songs. So I looked her up and then I realized, <gasps> Ooh, her birthday is coming up. Nothing is more Liza Minnelli than the song that was written about Liza Minnelli. So I worked on this song more than I have worked on most songs because once I heard it, I had to do it. But then once I started looking at it, I was like, oh boy, I may not be able to get through this one. There are a lot of letters and there are a lot of weirdly placed rhythms to spell those letters. E double the L is really hard to say until you've said it about 45,000 times. So if you're looking to get good at this song, and I'm not saying I'm good at this song, but if you're looking to get better at it, you have to sing it in the car and in bed and in the shower. And while you're blow drying your hair before you record the video of you doing the song, just repeating those letters over and over again. My other fun connection to Eliza Minnelli is that at one time in my life, I had some pups, I had some dogs. We named one of them Liza, after Liza Minnelli, because every time I would sing, I mean a single note, this puppy, little Liza, would start crooning like she was a human being, as though she was Liza Minnelli. I will try to find some footage and stick it in here so that you guys can see this. What are we gonna sing? Liza, Liza, Liza. <laughs> Most adorable thing you've ever seen, but also very frustrating when you own a dog like that and you're a singer and you can't practice at all at home because not only would she start going, but then the other one, Mia, who we named after Mia Michaels, the choreographer, can you tell I'm a theater nerd? Would also start howling, and then they'd start howling <coughs> at each other <coughs> until they were all howled out or until I had a mental breakdown. And if you follow me on Instagram, which you should, you've probably seen this dog once or twice when I've gone back to go visit said pups. Anyways, this was fun. This was frustrating, but also a really, really good challenge for diction. And I had to pull this from piano charts because chords for this don't exist anywhere. So I might put the chords for this on my website. Check the link below. If there's a link for it. It's on the website. If you like this, please give me a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button here. Hit the dingling bell over here. I think that's another Liza song, right? You gotta ring them bells. You gotta ring them bells. Uh, I don't know why I'm singing that like uh, Ethel Merman. But anyways, hit those things. You'll get some notifications of me posting more of my ukulele shenanigans. This is Make It Happen March. This is uh, Make It Happen and Get the Stuff Posted Already Destiny March. So uh, look forward to more things. And if you have suggestions or cover requests or questions, put them in the comments below. Um, until then, go watch some of the links I have of Liza Minnelli down in the comments because there's no way, if you have a soul, that they won't make you just kind of bubbly inside. They just make you wanna go like drink a fizzy bubbly drink 
and kind of noodle your way across the living room and do some Bob Fosse moves. It's time for outros and thank yous for watching now, please. Like and subscribe. Please validate my existence by coming back soon.